baby cream in an aerosol can. See how he's doing it real fine? Now, if you can get it real wet, what that does is set a little body to the hair and get a little stiffer, but still stand it up. So if you put it on, you work it in, and then you blow it, it's going to separate that hair. It's also going to make it stand up and make it a little firmer to work with, but yet don't take it down flat. You see how it ended up here already? It separates it. Makes it easier to clip them in, makes it easier, makes them look smoother. The thing you have to do when you get done with this step is blow it. And try to dry it just a little bit. That'll make that hair fluff even more. See how it's already got shine, it's already standing out and looking more and body. She moves just with the hair she has. Now he's using tail adhesive and it's really sticky. And you notice how far away he is when he uses tail adhesive? Now if you get right up on top of that heifer and just start spraying, it's going to get so sticky, it's going to turn flat and you won't be able to pull the comb through. The other thing he's doing, I don't know the fluff real good. This one? Oh yeah, that one. You try to use, this is what I started with before I said, aha, the trick is do not use this comb. Use this comb. See how it's got short, long, and it's wider? It will pull through that hair. You can pull that glue. This one tends to cake it, and it's, in a way, it doesn't really separate it like that. It kind of mats three or four hairs together and gets flat, and then you can't get through it at all. So see how fine that hair is when he's gluing it up, and, it's, and he is getting some, getting it up. Now some heifers, you don't want them just a real big bone like a steer, but it will make her look 
a lot heavier bone and more rugged than an answer to her capacity when you look at it. So he's pulling that whole leg up. See where he's stopping? And I'll pull back. And yeah. That. He's going to the point of that shoulder, but he's still pulled up. See, there's a dip right there where the shoulder comes in. Those little Andy's clippers and have one blade that's good for cutting hair with glue in it. When you get that done, there's going to be hair that you need to clip back off to get it to look straight up and down. And he'll take those clippers and blend that shoulder and blend that leg in. And I don't know if he does it, but just the way this heifer's set, she probably will. And I watched at the Royal on some of the guys, the professionals that groom for some of the they, you want some cushion in here. A lot of steers, now they're real straight legged up and they almost tend to buckle with their straight shoulder. But a natural leg set with a heifer walking, she'll put it down, have some set to her pasterns to be correct. She'll cushion that and have a little bit of a cushion right through her cannon right here. The front, you want that. The straighter you get that when she takes a step, she tends to look like she's popping that out. So if she has way too much hair right in here, you want to clip that off so she looks like she's got some smoothness to her walk, some cushion to her, some ease of pasterns. If you get it too straight, and she is too straight, every time she'll take a step and she stops, she'll look like her knees buckling out. And then she looks like she's not correct to her shoulder structure. Because the straighter they get here, the more they will tend to walk like that. Horses the same way. People ride horses. You ever see a straight-shouldered horse? What's he do? He rides choppy? What? And how far can he stride? He'll stride stiff and straight. If you have the correct slope, that's in judging any animal. If you judge horses the same way, he's got the correct slope to his shoulders. He can stride and he can go and he needs to set and he needs to cushion or it's going to be short stop choppy and he's going to be incorrect and he's going to hurt on his joints. Same way with cattle. See how that bone, notice he didn't do too much on the inside right there because you're looking at this, but it already increased her width even though it's maybe a half inch there, maybe, a, maybe three quarters on both sides. And he'll clip that in and it'll look a lot heavier bone than she did without getting to, to the extreme that she looks coarse. Because you don't want them coarse. And there's really very few people put any glue on any yeah, body part. If they, use, if they use anything, it'll be prime time or easy. Yeah, if you use this on a body, it's going to flatten. Prime easy combs, what I had once in a while, if you have some, say you had a quarter that had hair on it, but it always wants to be flat because they lay right there. Easy comb is a real light adhesive that you can put on there and it'll make it stand up, but it won't mat it. You can't see it. You don't have to paint it. Uh, the problem with that, if you use it, and it's not a problem, if it's 100 degrees, it's tough to do anything like that. You might better off with show foam. Show foam. Yeah, because otherwise that glue is going to start breaking down. And that, that's the thing in the summer a lot of times, even this tail adhesive, if it gets hot and humid, it doesn't like to hold up. So uh, a little trick I learned is you get a feed pan or a bucket and put some ice water in it. You put those cans down in the ice water and keep those cans cool. The, the glue will hold up better, the glue will work better. You just you don't want to get them too cold, otherwise the glue gums up and it won't, it won't come out. That's a problem, that's a problem with 20 degree weather. You might want warm 